there guys, Mike here again. Thanks for clicking this video. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. This video is a tube amp tech video on how to install a standby switch into an amplifier that never really had a standby switch. So I have a 5E3 Deluxe here and it's a stock build and it's a stock chassis. And what we're going to do is install a standby switch without modifying the chassis whatsoever. And I also have my one watt Princeton build here. So I did a whole build series on how this amplifier it is and I never really did install a standby switch switch in it. So I'm going to install a standby switch in this. And how we're going to do that is with this unique little switch here. So this is like a two-in-one switch. And so we'll go ahead and I'll run down how the switch works, what the switch is all about, and how to install it into this amplifier. Here's the switch. And the unique thing about this switch is, like I said, is a two-in-one switch. It is an on-on-off switch. So basically it's in the off position now. And when you go into the middle position, it turns on the transformer, thus heating up the, the tubes. And then when you push it all the way to the forward position, it applies the B plus to the tubes and put it into the run position. So don't confuse yourself with something like this here. And this is an actual on off on. And these are different switches. This will not work. So don't get one of those switches. I've got my multimeter hooked up and right now it's in the off position. And when you hear a beep, that means there's connectivity. And so when you push it to there, you can hear that in. And when you go all the way over, it's still on. So that is the transformer side. So we'll turn that off and then we'll plug the B plus side up. So now the B plus is all started. So basically when you're in the middle position, of course the B plus is on because we're just warming up the tubes and we push it over and then we're on to the B plus. So the, here's the bottom position. So this here would be the B plus and this here goes to the power transformer. So this part of the circuit will remain the same in your amplifier. The only thing you're actually doing is splicing into the B plus and rooting it through this switch. So let's go ahead and take the back off. We'll drain the capacitors here. So I have my capacitor discharge tool. So we'll just ground that. And we will go right on the B plus. And then we'll take the multimeter and we'll just make sure we're all safe here. No volts. So let's take a look at the Deluxe 5E3 layout. It's a pretty standard layout. We have the incoming AC line to the switch, so we'll keep that the same. We'll just re-solder those connections. And what we'll also do is we'll figure out which B plus to divert in. So we can either take the, the B plus going to the first filter cap and divert that to the switch, uh, but a better solution is actually taking the center tap of the high voltage winding and running it to the switch and back again to the grounding here. That way it actually takes the whole uh, high voltage winding right out of the picture and it doesn't emanate any type of voltage through the system. What some people do is they'll take this ground switch and they'll convert the ground switch to a standby switch, but it's not very conducive of what's going on here. So I would prefer to use this multi-function switch here in this on off position. And if anybody borrows your amp, they can pretty much figure out pretty quick on how it operates. So let's go ahead and unsolder this and install this. So we're all buttoned up here, ready to go. All the soldering is done. Um, I got it plugged into my um, current sink here. And how this works is if this light bulb comes on, that means it's taking all the current and there's a dead short in the amplifier. If it doesn't come on, then it's working fine. If you want to know more about this and how I built it, there's a link right here and you can take a look. So let's go ahead and put this in standby mode and then flick the switch on the current sink. I can hear the transformer, uh, the lights on. So it seems to be functioning fine. So let's go ahead and apply the B plus. So to put it into run mode and I can just hear a little hiss. I got nothing plugged in here. Everything's at noon. Um, that's pretty much normal for this amplifier. It's a pretty quiet amplifier. So there you go. I say it's working fine. When it comes to standby switches, some people say that's a necessity. Other people say it's don't. Um, if you use your amplifier a lot and you're constantly turning it on and off, on and off, on and off, I think shocking the tubes with B plus is not a great idea. I like the standby switch to eliminate any popping when you're pulling the jack in and out. 
And we will go ahead and do the same type of mod to my one watt uh, Princeton build here. And I'll put a link in the description below of, of the links of where I got this switch and where you can get one too. So I hope that inspires you to install a standby switch to an uh, amplifier that never had one. And it's an easy mod. You don't have to do any holes. And if you don't like it, well, you can revert back to the normal way it was. Once again, for thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.